Wait, this way, this way, this way. <laughs> What's up, guys? PJ's here. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I've got a box to share. Actually, I've got uh, two mail finds to share with you guys real quick. Actually, i got another mail find. Hold on. just Don't you hate when you start a video and then you forget something and you just hit pause and you want to start over, but you don't. But anyways, whatever. I've got a few mail finds. Uh, you guys are familiar with uh, this, right? This is the uh, Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. You guys know that I drive a uh, Toyota FJ. A little bit different than this. Um, it's a newer FJ style, but uh, really cool casting. This is one casting that I wanted to start start collecting. So uh, this was the first one. Um, I think that, no, I had the other two. This is the third one I got. So we're gonna go ahead and crack these on camera for you guys real quick. I know everyone's seen this one, but uh, the other three you might not have seen. This is the brown one. Really cool casting. I like it a lot. Really cool. Really neat. And then uh, probably a, a more rare one was this one. This is from 2010. All blue with the white top. Really, really cool. Cracking it. Otherwise, they'll just sit in my bins. I can't enjoy them. Really cool casting right there. Love that FJ. That's number two. And then this one was a pretty tough one to get to. This is the light blue variation. This one is even older from 2008. Uh, so we'll crack that one open too. It's probably really loud on camera. There's the light blue. Really cool. I love those little FJs. Oh, it looks even got tail lights on that one. But I got a, a fourth one in the mail. This one came up for sale um, on eBay. And it was like uh, $3 with the $2 shipping. So it was like buy it now price of like 5 bucks. And uh, I did a little research and found out that this one goes for a little bit more than 5 bucks, Even loose. Um, carded goes for quite a bit. Um, so I hopped all over it at 5 bucks. It is a little rough around the edges, but I can certainly touch up the top. This is a Matchbox Lesney, and this is really, really heavy casting. Same exact casting as uh, the newer Matchbox, but this one has all metal base. Extremely heavy casting, but here's the top. But I, I looked at the pictures online and figured, well, I could just touch that up with some white paint and have a, a brand new Matchbox Lesney. That I don't have to pay 30 bucks for. So that's really, really cool. It's a really good condition other than a few chips on top. Uh, Matchbox Lesney. Really tough one to get. Um, in good condition. Goes for a pretty penny too. So i um, happy to have that one in my collection of FJs. And it gave me a reason to crack them open. So got those four. I'll put in my jammer or on display somewhere. Um, next up. I've got a couple of uh, green light green machines that I wanted to share with you guys. <clears throat> um, picked these up for a pretty good deal, and I knew somebody that was interested in Chevelle's, Mr. D Diecast Review. Um, and uh, actually, I know a couple of people that are interested in Chevelle's, um, and especially, especially the green machines. So um, if nobody wants them, I'll hang on to them and add them to my collection. Um, but it's a pretty cool piece. I didn't know this was so limited. Um, this says hobby dis distributor exclusive one of 1,000 uh, green light. I'm not sure how many green machines they actually made. Uh, but you can see the bottom is green, metallic green. And then the wheels are also green. It's really bad lighting in here. Um, but they're like a metallic green. Um, and this is number 27, so a really low number. Again, I'm not sure how many of the thousand were actually green machines, but um, could never. Oh, there you can see it's got ghost flames on the side of it. It's just a really, really awesome piece. Lots of detail in the tail lights and everything, and in the front end. Really cool piece. So if nobody wants it, I'll definitely hold on to it. And then the um, the next green machine I got is the Barrett Jackson uh, Chevelle. That was a '68 Chevelle. This is a '69 uh, Chevrolet Chevelle SS. And this is a green machine also. This is numbered 
You know, back in the day, I don't think they did the base is green, but the, it's got the metallic green on it. And I'm pretty sure this is a green machine also. This is a really low number two at 184. So really, really cool to have both of these uh, pieces. They are up for trade. Um, these diecast review has first crack at them. So if you're interested in it, uh, just let me know. Maybe we can work out something. <clears throat> up next, I got a box in the mail from Matt Slycord. Very cool dude, a uh, good friend of mine. Um, he had a couple of supers and I had a couple of things that he wanted. Um, and so we made a quick trade. Ba bam Finally got the Super Moon Eyes van. 1977 Dodge van. Not a real popular super because of those wheels, but uh, nevertheless still a super. So one that I had to have in my collection, that's for sure. And then uh, got a Toyota AE86 Corolla. I just let one of these go to an Instagrammer, uh, Rod. <clears throat> so I had to uh, replace what I let go. So sometimes that happens if you have something that um, you got to let go and then hopefully you'll get it back. So I was able to get it back. So thank you so much, Matt Slycord, for those two supers. <clears throat> I got a box in the mail. Uh, from a local buddy, uh, BC1978. He's on Instagram. He doesn't, uh, I don't think he's made videos yet. A really cool guy. I'm gl glad, uh, glad to have met him and hopefully we can do more trades. Um, finally was able to work out a trade with him uh, for a Super Mustang Boss 302. And I think that's in here. So let's get cracking. On Instagram though, if you give him a follow, it's BC1978. Really cool guy to uh, trade with. He's kind of a new um, collector. So um, I've been helping him out with like questions and stuff. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. Check it out. Oh, see, I already lost, lost it already. Check it out. Another Sharpie that I get to lose. <laughs> I don't know what it is about these Sharpies. <clears throat> I always lose them. I'm going to try to hang on to it. Now that you labeled it a Sharpie. Let's see if I can hang on to it. I don't need it to cut up anything. Let's cut it. Just had to use it. Cool. Hobby Lobby. Sharpie. Really cool. Thank you so much, Bobby. All right, what do we got in here? What is going on in here? Nice Volkswagen Caddy. I do have that one, but I can definitely use another one to customize. So thank you so much. You guys seen this? They actually put tail lights on this piece. Really, really cool piece. Love the front end on that. Lots of detail. Really cool piece. Thank you so much. And yep, you can never have too many Ferrari 599XXs. Love it. I'm going to do a whole batch of these in a bunch of different colors uh, as soon as I get time. I'm off this weekend, so hopefully I'll have some time this weekend. Sweet. Love those wheels. Some of the best wheels that they've ever put on or uh, put in production is these wheels right here. I love those. Uh, James Shears really likes those wheels too. Really cool wheels. Boulevard. Holy cow, those are some tiny, tiny wheels on that. This is a uh, 49 Drag Merc. Look at those back end fat meats. Look at those front ones, skinny meats. <laughs> That's cool. What the heck is this? All right, Bobby, you're freaking me out now. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, what does it do? Uh, I don't know what it is. Oh, oh. I know what this is. <laughs> oh, Bobby's cracking me up. <clears throat> so the lights that he uses for some of his customs, he pulls them out of here and just uses the light uh, in some of his customs. He used it in, I think, what had the see-through top on it? Was it the Jetsons or the Homer Simpson car? I forget what he used it in, but it looked really, really good. 
no, it was a newer casting. I'll have to look at Instagram. Um, but he takes the, these out of here and uh, uses the chipset already set up for lights and everything. So if anything, make a cool cop car it's going back and forth, two colors, red and blue. And that's cool. I, at first I was like, what, what is this? <laughs> that's so funny. Thank you. I, I will probably be picking up more of these if that works out. Uh, yes, surfboards. And yes to that Chevy pickup. Love the front end on that Chevy pickup. That is sweet. Thank you so much, Bobby. Man, you've got some cool little extras here. That is so awesome. Oh, Backwoods Mom. I saw, uh, I do have a couple of these, but I definitely want to customize another one. Or customize one or two. Um, I saw about five or six of those on the peg, on the pegs the other day and just left them because I already have a couple. Sweet. There's the Super Boss Mustang Boss 302. Sick. I love it. That is a sick casting. Look at that piece. Super Mustang Boss 302. Very, very cool. Thank you so much, Bobby. I appreciate it. I'm sitting. Uh, he told me to wait on his box. So that I can open this box and then send him a box. But uh, from the size of this box, I'm going to have to include a few extra goodies for you. That's awesome. I never picked this one up, so that one's cool. Uh, this is the Baja Beetle. Volkswagen Beetle. They didn't even include Baja in there. But it's the Matchbox Beetle. Definitely a customizable vehicle. Oh, sweet. Another Mustang. You guys uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, I customized one of these. Let me go grab it real fast. Also, I was just looking at your box here. This is a, a regional rate box, A. Eh? Very weird. I never have seen these. I thought they only came in like small, medium, large. So that's a cool box. It's a good size box too. It's pretty cool. And a fairly cheap, uh, cheap postal rate on that. He lives in town. Uh, uh, kind of in the area, so I'm um, really cool guy to trade with because he, he's local. Uh, but here's the custom I did uh, of the mainline version Matchbox. And those wheels are beast. I found these wheels. I forget what I pulled them off of, but I knew I was going to add them to something special. And I know they went on a Mustang, but it just looks awesome. Really, really like the way the, the wheels hit, hit on that uh, Ford Mustang. Really cool casting for sure. And all the bottom is screwed in. Really cool. That is just an awesome piece. One one that I customized a few days ago and added to Instagram. So uh, you guys keep on the lookout for these. They're, they make cool uh, customs. And you can use those wheels on something else. Nice poverty cap wheels. And I don't know what this is. I don't know what you're do doing here. But here's the Volkswagen treasure hunt. That is so cool. I did customize one of these the other day and threw it up on Instagram. So this one I will probably keep um, on card. Really cool. Thank you so much, man. I have no idea what this is, but I'm at 13 minutes, so let's get to it. I know he went out hunting. Oh, oh yeah, I do know what this one. This is one that we traded for. <laughs> no, we didn't trade for this. We didn't trade for this. This you're throwing this in here now. I really got to step your box up. That's cool. Thank you so much, Bobby. Uh, this is the 1954 Chevrolet 3100 truck chase piece. You see the all gold, and it's a Chevy, and I had to have it. But look at that front end. That is a mean looking front end. Chevy's man, awesome. Just a mean truck right there. That is a sweet looking truck. Look at those little windows in the back. Man, thank you so much, Bobby. I'm going to have to go step up your package now. I didn't know you were sending this. <laughs> and then uh, also the checker cab. Really cool wheel choices that Matchbox is putting on their uh, main lines. Uh, nice, simple poverty caps. You can use those on anything, and they really do look awesome. That is cool. Everybody's probably seen that, though. But, man, this was a shocker. I didn't know you were sending this. Thank you so much, Bobby. I'm probably going to use this same box and send it right back to you if that's okay. Uh, I think I have a regular box. 
but this looks pretty cool. I'm in a nice sturdy box. So thank you guys um, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid. I'm going to go crack this open. See what I can do with these lights. Peace. You guys have a great weekend.